Hi, I'm Amy Lewis with Solid Fire, and I'm here with Denise. Denise, can you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Denise Fishburne, also known as Fish, and I am a customer proof of concept engineer at Cisco. Okay, so we're here at Cisco Live, your, your home base. Your, what is the coolest thing you've seen, done, or heard at this year's Cisco Live? I gotta say, this year's Cisco Live, the coolest, absolute coolest thing is I teach a class called Techniques of a Network Detective, where I'm trying to take 30 years worth of me going through pain and troubleshooting. And people are come up to me afterwards saying, I gotta show this to my network operationals team. And it has nothing to do, honestly, about selling boxes or teaching a deployment, but just helping other people not go through the pain that they put themselves through while troubleshooting. Well, can we tease this out for anybody? Can you give us a tip? Like, what's a tip that if you never ever do this again, save them the pain? A little teaser? Yes. Let the evidence guide you. Let the evidence guide you. Do not do not lead to the troubleshooting and figure out who you think who done it. Let the evidence guide you and adapt to it. So, uh, do you do particularly well on like Law and Order, CSI, that kind of show? Do you guess who's who done it at the end? Um, I think I, I do love those shows and and um, I do love the challenge of trying to guess with like Agatha Christie books or Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes is really really hard. Agatha Christie you can usually figure out, but Sherlock Holmes is, gets to be really really hard. And and do you find that the people you teach are a similar mindset? Is that they they cannot resist this this. It seems like it's a calling, like you get drawn to solve problems. I mean, these are the stickiest of the problems you're solving. Yeah, I would think that um, actually the audience typically does not have the luxury they're in. I mean, it's a it's a hua rush for me to do troubleshooting. I mean, it is just a, I'm down with ADD, yeah, you know me. So uh, I, I really love troubleshooting. These people are troubleshooting in production networks, which for them is not fun, so they also have the stress. And um, actually they have the additional challenge that, okay, so if a crime happened and it was someone that you loved, would you be, as a, as a de real detective, would you be allowed to stay on the case? No, absolutely not. And that's one of the challenges that people have is because of the fact that we're extremely tied to it's our network, it's not our network, it's their security, it's this or this or this and all the silos. And what people don't really realize is all hail the packet, we all try to help the packet. And so we can actually get in our own way even from that perspective as well because we bring ourselves and our design and our baby and now we're trying to figure out who done it in it. And that's hard. I, that literally, that thought bubble was my mind being blown. So I hope that's what we use when we do this in post-production. That is amazing. No, I love it. I just absolutely love it. Yeah. Now I, I want to take this class. So if people weren't here, how can they follow up? How can they learn more? Well, actually, it's uh, BRK ARC 2002, uh, Techniques of a Network Detective. And probably, I would say, the video should be online within five to six weeks. Again, it is just trying to pass on everything I've learned in 30 years, things that have hurt me, not hurt me, things that I've seen hurt you, um, what to avoid, what not to avoid, how to be methodical like a detective is. And the other thing is, is that I believe on packet pushers. Um, I also did a quick write-up out there on packet pushers about being a, a network detective. Awesome. Thank you so much for the information. Oh, Thank you very much. I appreciate it. This is cool. And we'll see you next time on Pop-Up Tech Talks.